Hey folks, welcome back. So now as you have the basic things that you need to make an authentication call, let's get working. So what we got by registering our API client is, we got the workdate token endpoint, we got the client ID and the client secret, and we got the refresh token. So we need all that to build our request to get the access token. So as you can see, it is going to be a post call and it is going to be the workday token endpoint. So if you remember, you got three URLs, right? So one of those URLs was the workday token endpoint. That is what you need. That is going to be your host where you are going to make this call. This is a post call, not a get call. So because of the fact it's a post, we are also going to pass a body in this. So your host is the workday token endpoint. The mechanism for authorization is because we are using a bearer token, as you can see, the authorization is basic. And we are base64 encoding the client ID colon client secret. So what you can do is you can take the client ID, put a colon and the client secret next to it and then base64 encode it. But as you will see, like I'll show you in Postman, Postman can take care of this by itself. You just need to put in the client ID and client secret in place of username and password and it will do that for you. In the header section, you need to provide the content type of application slash x ww form URL encoded. It's necessary that you provide this header. And in the body, you will pass in the grant underscore type is equal to refresh token and the refresh token is equal to the refresh token value that you got when you were registering your API client. Here's a sample. As you can see, the host, again, it will be your Workday API token endpoint and the authorization will be set something like basic and after basic, a space, and then you will have this base64 encoded client ID and client secret. The content type, again, as you can see, is application slash XWW form URL encoded. And the grant type is refresh token and refresh token is equal to the refresh token value that we got while we were registering our API client. So we are going to build this call in Postman. So see you in Postman. If you have not downloaded Postman yet, go ahead and download Postman and download the desktop client, not the browser client, but the desktop client. So to get handy. See you in the next class. Thanks.